Hey there everyone, welcome back. Today we've got a couple of watches. Um, they're basically identical, so that's why I've kind of brought them here together. They are the Ber Bertucci DX3 Field Watch. Might be Bertucci, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> anyway, they're, they're kind of a cool field watch. When I had posted a picture on Instagram this morning, uh, my girlfriend had texted me and said, you know, I'm not sure about that watch. And I think it was this one on the Instagram this morning. I said, but the whole thing glows. And sent her a picture very much like the thumbnail. And we'll get to a loom shot here in just a few minutes. And she wrote back and said, are you 12? And it got me thinking. <clears throat> um, yes, I guess I am 12 in this regard. So, uh, you know, we're guys, <clears throat> and we didn't outgrow toys, we just got different toys, bigger toys, more expensive toys. Our toy box went from this big as a kid to the whole garage as an adult, and sometimes some of my friends have much bigger garages than I do, if we want to use the garage as the toy box. Um, some people have bigger watch boxes than I do. Uh, so as guys, we just have bigger toys. And, I, you know, this is kind of a toy. I don't know if I would call this a true novelty watch, <clears throat> but as I do have my Sharp Brothers Seven Sins, which is truly a novelty watch, but it's a very solidly built novelty watch. Um, <clears throat> these are pretty cool little field watch. So let's just jump right into the specs and then we'll talk about the loom and whatnot. So it is a 40 millimeter case size, which I always thought 42 was the smallest I could wear um, that would satisfy me, but I'm learning. Um, so it is a 40 millimeter case, 49 millimeter lug to lug. The lug width is 22 millimeter has an overall thickness with the the NATO strap, single pass NATO strap is 12.6 millimeters. Without the strap, <clears throat> it is only 11 millimeters. It has a mineral crystal, and I'm taking the strap out because I want to show you the lugs. It isn't a traditional spring bar. It's molded into the case. Um, it's all, the case is all just one solid piece. Uh, with a pressed in case back that just kind of has some information. Um, it does have a 50 meter water resist. It is just a push pull crown. It is a Japanese quartz movement. Um, the weight on these is 45 grams or 1.6 ounces. Let me give you a wrist shot on this. And where I thought a 42 was the smallest I could really wear because I thought it would just, everything else would just feel and look too small for me. I am learning that that is not the case. Um, I need to move this on the strap because it's NATO strap. I got to kind of move it a little bit here. Um, I can totally rock this as a 40 millimeter watch. And I did. I wore this one all day, this fully loomed one. And we'll talk about the loom differences in just a minute. And as I wore it, it's it just became more and more comfortable, honestly. So here's here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. And again, we know I wear mine down towards the wrist itself. And what I learned is <clears throat> as you wear it, the strap kind of doesn't loosen up, but where it turns around the lugs, it kind of softens up and it gets, you know, it doesn't spring out as far. It kind of, it relaxes. The strap kind of relaxes around the lugs so that it kind of just moves in around the wrist better. So throughout the day, whereas a lot of watches get tighter, Throughout the day, this one seemed to get a little bit looser throughout the day. Um, not to the point that it was a problem. It just, 
right in here on the lugs, this started to loosen and relax a little bit so that it just kind of felt a little bit looser on the wrist, depending on which hole I had it in. So I did kind of start it out in one hole and then throughout the day it kind of got loose and I took it in a notch. Uh, I wish my waist and my belt would go in a notch but throughout the day, but that's not the case. But let's not go there. That's a whole different topic. So this particular one here has a fully loomed dial. This dial is not loomed. The cases are both loomed, but this has a lot of loom on the hands and the second hand and the indices. Um, <clears throat> both great watches though, and the super legible. This one for sure, the full loom dial on the left is super legible. And if you guys are interested, the full loom dial is the reference number 11046, and this one is 11028. And you may have seen these already on Random Rob's channel about a week or two ago. And I saw the video, these are not his, these are not the same exact ones, but I saw them there and after I watched his video, I almost immediately went to Amazon and started looking and I ordered these within the next day um, and got them in. And I think it's kind of good. I've seen uh, some other knife people and watch people, they pass this watch around to be reviewed by different people. And you get a, as the viewer, just a better or different perspective on the watch, depending on who is reviewing it. <clears throat> we'll give it a little close up to this one a little bit more. Uh, this, this strap is a little bit darker in color. And I actually have, there's two watch or knife reviewers that I'm talking to on, on um, YouTube right now about trading some watch, some knives between us so that I can do a review, I'll send them mine, they'll send me theirs, and then I'll do a review of theirs. So I think it's good because you get different perspectives and each reviewer talks about different things. So anyway, let me shut off the lights, give you guys some room on this. They should be pretty charged up from the, from the video. And I think everybody knows which one I like better. I like the full loom dial. And they do fade fairly, you know, not super fast, but the, the bodies fade pretty quick. But the dial on the full loomed one stays for a little while, and the hands and stuff on the on the one on the right, those stay not super, super long. I mean, it's not Seiko loom. It's not uh, Zellos loom, which I have a, you know, Zellos right here as a size comparison. And I've got the Casio Pro Trek right here. So we'll just kind of throw some loom out there. Um, so the Bertukis don't last forever, but they're not bad. It, it's a fun little watch to have. And here it is against a 42. So the Zealous is a 42 millimeter and a 40. And I really learned that the 40 I can totally wear after wearing this um, Bertuki all day. Uh, so, it's a good thing and a bad thing because now there's going to be, it's kind of opened up a whole new world of watches for me in that smaller size that I can still wear. Um, my buddy has a 39 millimeter um, Rolex Explorer that I thought 39, that's gonna be too small. But after wearing these 40s, after seeing the 39 on his wrist, I, you know, it's kind of opened my eyes to a lot of different options now. So anyway, these are on Amazon. They're under $100 each. Um, this one with just the loomed hands is cheaper than the one with the fully loomed dial by 10, 20 bucks. Um, so check them out on, on Amazon if you're interested in these because they're pretty cool. To kind of make you feel like a 12 year old again, according to my girlfriend. And uh, I don't know, I think they're they're pretty cool and I will uh, probably wear this the next time I go down to my office, just because it's, uh, cause it's kind of cool. So thanks a lot for watching. Let me know what you think about semi-novelty, glow in the dark, day glow, full loomed, whatever you want to call them, watches. And if you think they're cool or if, they're kind of 12-year-old-ish. All right, thanks a lot, everyone. We will see you on the next one.